as the board of United is taking its time, Greenwood is really attracting lots of interest now from even big clubs because before it was clubs in Turkey, Norway and very many others but this time around it's a club coming in from <coughs> Italy known as AC Milan playing the Champions League having lots of attraction for the player and they are really interested in signing Mason Greenwood. Welcome to United Matters channel. How are you guys and where you're watching us from? Second video of the day, smash the like button, comment and share. If at all you're watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. Now, we are talking Lisandro Martinez has gone ahead and really put out a huge Instagram post after his surgery that's gonna, that he has undergone, I think, today. And lastly, we are discussing Casemiro and his leadership skills <coughs> that have helped him really become the new captain of Brazil, then also be at Manchester United as one of the players that are really so much irreplaceable for this club. So, let's see close to 100 likes much on this video as we get into this breakdown. Now, United have gotten a very huge chance today to go <clears throat> back in the third position. Newcastle have been beaten by Aston Villa 3-0. Spurs have lost away at, bon at Bournemouth by <clears throat> three goals to two. That means if United win, win against Nottingham Forest tomorrow, United will find themselves three points ahead of Newcastle <clears throat> and six points ahead of New ahead of Tottenham Hotspur. And for New and for Tottenham Hotspur, it's really funny because when you look at the Premier League table, Tottenham Hotspur is gonna have to play two more games than Manchester United. That means if we win our two games we have ahead of all the two games we have in hand ahead of Spurs, we go nine points clear ahead of Spurs. When you look at Aston Villa is having 50 points and um, they've played 31 games. That means United winning their two games they have in hand, they'll be having 62 points. That means United will be, United will be 12 points ahead of Aston Villa, which is sixth. Then, nine points ahead of Spurs, which is fifth. Then Brighton has played 20, 29 games and they're having 49 points, meaning that we are seven points ahead of Brighton. So it shows you that United's title race is really becoming more easier and easier provided we win the next two games. You know, if we win the game against Nottingham tomorrow and win another one also, clear of these two games we have in hand will be good to go and top four will be sealed if you are nine points ahead of spurs uh, 12 ahead of aston villa and seven ahead of brighton <coughs> then top four is a given for manchester united as i told you we need only 70 points plus to be that team that will put out what we call a very good <coughs> a very good finish of the season now Let's go to Mason Greenwood. A story coming in from <clears throat> from Matteo Moreto. He comes in from Italy and he's obviously a very a very good works with relevo and fee charges. This is Spain. He comes in from Spain. He's telling us that at AC Milan, there are those who appreciate the technical qualities of Mason Greenwood. Who has not played since January 2022. The boy is looking forward to starting again outside of England his situation is very delicate but technically he is liked by many teams including Milan. So <laughs> AC Milan <clears throat> is one of those teams that are not bothered to really put out their interest public on Mason Greenwood. You know Manchester United have been known to reacting as quick as possible required because they knew that no big team is really interested in, in Mason Greenwood but if AC Milan comes out and puts its interest publicly like this, that shows you that the board of United has to panic. They have to panic and make a decision on Mason Greenwood. And one, if there is any player you wouldn't like to lose out or really sell at the age of 22, it's Mason Greenwood. We all know his potential. We all know how good he is. We all know how his trajectory can be at a club known as Manchester United. And when you look at the forwards we are really having, if he comes in through, United might not even find themselves in a situation really buying a centre forward and maybe that budget might be really put out elsewhere. elsewhere. So, United are expected to put out a statement of Mason Greenwood towards the end of the season. 
all after the end of the season. That's in the first week of June. That's when we expect United to put out a statement. If at all, we won't be playing the UEFA Europa League final. But if I were to play there, that means we'll put out a statement about Mason Greenwood in the second week of June. So that really brings out that 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 brings us to a point on what <clears throat> or on who is putting out these stories. I think the agent of Mason Greenwood is really doing a very great job. He's throwing in these stories to show United that <clears throat> this player is wanted. If you don't want him, put that statement out early enough. You sell him to AC Milan, they'll get you the money that you want. If you want a loan, <clears throat> the loan should be operated very, very quickly, such that during the preseason, Greenwood gets enough training time with this team that is interested in him. So, <clears throat> The agent is doing his job and obviously Manchester United his hands are really tied according to me because they have nothing to do. To me, I'm going to be very shocked if at all United really let Mason Greenwood go. Do you know why? Because he's young, <clears throat> his ceiling is high, Ten Hag likes the player and there is a division or there is a, di there is a divide in fans, you know, on whether they would love to keep him or not. But I think that divide... <clears throat> will not be used to decide the return of Mason Greenwood. I think the only thing that can affect his return at Manchester United is how the sponsors are going to go ahead and be react. But if AC Milan is telling you that you're wanting Mason Greenwood, then what's, what's your stance on him now? Because AC Milan is a very good team. Greenwood would fit in any team in the world. We all know that. So, the board of United is just having to make a decision that they won't regret. And I think that decision is all about letting Mason Green back. Because you have Mason Greenwood on, on your team this season. You don't suffer when Martial is injured. Green would read the line and get you the goals that you want. <laughs> that's it. So, that's all left in the hands of... Uh, that's all left in the hands of um, in the hands of the board of United. Ten Hag exempted himself from making a decision. He said to the board, he said to the board, do what you're supposed to do and you let me you let me know your final decision and after that decision is out, then I'll see whether I'll keep Greenwood or not. But we all know how talented Greenwood is. And how Tenag is the best manager to really groom Greenwood and really get him back to where he's supposed to be. And if I told the board puts in a positive return for Mason Greenwood, Ten Hag will obviously <clears throat> integrate him into his team and we see lots of wonders happening at the club of Manchester United. Talking of Mason Greenwood, he will <clears throat> if at all he's given green light to return to Manchester United, he'll be played as a right attacking midfielder or a centre forward. But Talking about the right attack midfield, there is Anthony, yes, and there is Ahmad Diallo. By the way, today Ahmad Diallo is going to hit to score his 12th goal of the season in there for you and is having two assists, meaning that with some little games left <clears throat> for Sunderland, the boy looks unstoppable. And I think with the way he's really scoring, obviously, Ten Hag must be interested in really bringing this player to come in and be really the needful for the club of Manchester United. And trust me, nothing is going to stop him from returning to Manchester United and being part of that team of United in the preseason. When you look at Sunderland, they're supposed to be playing 46 games, right? Now they're having 42 points. Sorry, they're having 61 points and they're left with four games to go. So if Atoli can put out lots of performances in those four games remaining then he can even score close to 15 goals a season if at all he puts in 15 that will be immensely <clears throat> immensely coming in from Ahmad Diallo because his team is just how many points from the sixth position his team is just one point from the sixth position remember the first two teams in the championship qualify automatically to the premier league and the next four go into what we call a playoff so if they continue to win their games maybe 
they might find themselves in the position of really going into the playoff and find themselves in the Premier League. And Ahmad Diallo, with the form he's in, I think he would love to see himself play into the championship. And I think, sorry, in the playoffs. And I think what we did them bad was that game against Hull City, where they led it. And obviously, Hull City got a penalty in the dying minutes. But obviously, it just found them losing or drawing that game to two and losing two points. Now, <clears throat> today... Lisandro Martinez has gone ahead and really issued a statement after his season was ruled out by Manchester United via their website. Lisandro Martinez has said, not the way I imagined what's been a very special season would end, but sometimes we face obstacles along the way that we have to overcome to make us stronger and we learn from them. I know that I'll be back very soon to go for more. In the meantime, I'll continue to support all my teammates to achieve our objectives. The number of messages and support I've received has been amazing. They are giving me strength and encouragement at the moment. Many, many thanks to you and from the bottom of my heart, that is Lisandro Martinez. Putting out that statement in pain because he thought that maybe he would really play a very huge part into this final bend of the season, but obviously he cannot you know the reason he got an injury and that shows you that any player can get injured at any time so you cannot come out and really say that maybe he injured himself or not but all i can confirm to you is that any player can get injured at any 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 time because as it stands it's really looking ugly for Manchester United because we are not left with typical typical what we call typical 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 central defenders because Linderov and Harry Maguire are good but there is no way they can come close to Lisandro Martinez and Rafael Veran. that's it they cannot come close to Lisandro Martinez and Rafael Veran. so <clears throat> we prepare to eat that Veran returns early enough because for Lisandro Martinez his season is done his season is done so we want to see to it that we find ourselves back into the winning ways with Tottenham dropping points, um, Newcastle dropping points, we need a win. We need a win of any type. Whether 1 nil, 2 nil, 3 2, 5 6 in favor of United, we need a win at Nottingham Forest. And if I told you at all that you are to trust yourself with Linderoff and Maglov, sorry, Linderoff and Maguire into that central defense, oh my god, you just feel. You just feel worried about them. But we all know that tomorrow it might be a central defense partnership that's playing. If at all, Eric Ten Hag doesn't choose to play Luke Shaw into that game as another <coughs> left back into there for you. So, after that, <coughs> let's turn to Casemiro. He has some huge message he has to offer to the players of Manchester United. And the message reads <clears throat> that it was the end of a period where I was very happy in Spain. And when you change things, it's always long term project. Thank God things went well and we won a trophy, but we still have a lot of progress to make. I believe leaders are born <clears throat> that way. It comes from childhood. You can add just one thing or another. But I think leaders are those who are born with leadership. And that is it. So... <clears throat> For Casemiro, he's happy that his change of club from Spain to England has gone ahead to work out well. He's really that player that if at all you're a United player or a fan and you're told that he's not going to play, you really get goosebumps and you wouldn't like to see him really miss out on any season because he has epitomized that central defense midfield of Manchester United and every time he's in the game, we play better. You know, our prayers should be that he doesn't really get a red card because it looks like he's targeted and he should stop making those reckless tackles sometimes but he has hinted about winning a trophy at Manchester United that is something great for the club and he knows what it means lifting the trophy for United and we still have two more left if we continue to knock our Sevilla away next week on Thursday and obviously knock out Brighton in the semi-finals of the FA Cup, we still have more to go. But he's saying that leaders are born that way. It comes from childhood, and he, me he means he's a born leader, and he has just been recently made the captain of the Brazilian national team as 
Casimiro. So guys, your thoughts on to AC Milan, Greenwood interest are welcome in the comment section below. What are your thoughts about Lisandro Martinez's message that has put out to really thank the fans of the message they're really sending him. And lastly, Casimiro coming out and issuing, issuing lots of statements of how he's happy on his new spell at Manchester United and how it's working out in his positivity and in his benefit and the club of Manchester United. Rock and David remains my name. I sign out for now. See you later. More videos are really coming in through. Bye-bye. Good night. I cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. My Muslim friends, Ramadan Karim. Those that are still awake, more stories are really coming in through onto this channel. I'm out.